Potts but has now, impressed me. Potts has been really good, hasn't he? He's really unlucky not to have a wicket. He could have had three, couldn't he? He's in now. It's all oh, big pill to LBW. He likes this, does Potts. He really got in the knock goes the finger. Now, what will Blundell do here? He's not sure. He's, he's th- he might walk off here without referring. Well, would you believe it? He has. Blundell's gone and a wicket has gone. And it's Potts who's finally got it. And my word, he's deserved it. He could have had Mitchell out. He could have had Nichols out. He's had a catch dropped off him. And now, finally, he has got the decision from umpire Kettleborough at the far end. It's a fair delivery. We can see that. And Blundell has walked off without referring. Trap bang in front of a full delivery. And he's shaking his head. If he's shaking his head, I don't quite know why he's not referring it. But he's not. And he's trudging off. He departs for 55. And England have got the breakthrough with some conventional bowling, Alex Hartley. They have indeed. Potts deserved that. He's bowled fantastically. Yesterday, this morning, already created a chance. Mitchell dropped by Root. Blundell was thinking about that for a long time. Quite often we see with LBW shouts, now we have the referrals, that the the batters come to the middle and discuss whether or not they think it was out or not. Mitchell stayed at the non-striker's end. Blundell stood there, thought about it, probably felt that it was out, probably felt like he was banging front, turned around, walked off. But it was really peculiar that they didn't have a chat because normally you would have a chat. What he did was he sort of opened his arms out wide to Mitchell, didn't he? And Mitchell didn't sort of respond. It Probably was nodded. Like a, yeah, I think I think you better go. And then he's walked off shaking his head. So, I mean, we have yet to see a replay. We're about to now. So it's a very full ball. Oh, my word. And it's, it might have been going down leg. I mean, it was worth a look, you would think. It's hit him around about the knee roll. It's come back off the seam a touch. He really liked that appeal, did Potts. He gave it the full welly. A little bit Stokes in it. He sort of bent back arms wide he did a good celebration didn't he as well Blundell shaking his head I, I, it's all a bit peculiar it's surprising that they didn't go upstairs because they've got Andy two reviews left well it's the breakthrough well we'll have to see when they should do show the replay whether there was any inside edge whether it was going down but it didn't could, it could have been clipping leg stump maybe that's why he's not referred it but it was definitely worth mm. worth having a look at from left, that replay uh, the left handed Bracewell is a new man hold on a minute I'll come to Andy in a second there's Bracewell faces up to his first ball lets it go by not far from the off stump he's coming round the wicket his pot's handy well, according to the Crick Info text commentary the DRS system is not working oh, oh that'll be why he's not happy then yes because he can't refer it and he obviously felt like it wasn't out that explains absolutely everything. Because <laughs> thankfully, live it looked from where we are, we're, we're extremely high and at a funny angle, but it did feel out. And on the replay, it felt like it could have been going down. Well, the news at the ground is that DRS is back. There you go. The thumbs up.